Hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome back to more Shadowrun Hong Kong. This is the ninth episode? Tenth episode? Nine and a half episode? And you can yeah, that's what. It, it's the 9.5 episode, and you can round down or up, depending on which one it actually is, because I forgot. And I can't click off screen to look it up unless I want to restart recording, which I could do because we're only 20 seconds in. Uh, anyway, uh now I'm flustered because I forgot. Yes, sponsored video. And last episode, we met most of the locals around town. Most of them had been hearing, having weird dreams. No one really knew about the prosperity thing. Is that what it's called? And uh, everyone's kind of just like the walled city is a complete dump, which it kind of is in real life too. So the safe boat, we're going to go in here and our quest is to talk to the mission computer and see if we have any unread messages. Activate the mission computer. That is the easiest objective I've ever completed. That's like back in WoW days. It's like take the griffin from... Elwind Forest to Stormwind. Take the Griffin from Stormwind to Westfall. Take the Griffin from Westfall to Elwind Forest. Mission complete. Four gold. You leveled up twice. That's the way it is now anyway. Uh, anyway, your workstation and mission computer. The blue tones of the workstation's main menu fill the screen. A blinking message in the upper right corner notifies you that you have six unread messages. Check your inbox. For new messages. You have six unread messages. Welcome to Hoi. And I looked it up. It's Hoi, not Hey. Hey, oh, I. Hey, oh, I. So, Hoi. Welcome to Hoi. From Kindly Chang to Blitz. Subject, welcome to Hoi. On behalf of your friends at Hoi Chamber of Commerce and Swift Winds Mahjong Parlor, I welcome you to the community of Hoi and to our new business venture. I've already lined up three jobs for you. The details of each are contained in a separate computer message, in a separate computer message. Remember to check your messages often, as I will update you with new opportunities as they occur. Auntie C. I don't like calling her auntie. Is that an oriental thing? It might be someone of respectful as an auntie. You have five unread messages. Your mission computer. From Isabel to Blitz, your mission computer. Hey Blitz, I set up your mission computer to automatically collect and Collate news reports, information, and media you might be interested to you. Some keywords that I got it trolling for are Raymond, Duncan, Walled City, and Kitty Pictures. I've also patched in permanent link to the Hong Kong sh Shard of the Shadowlands BBS. It's a great place to connect with other runners, sell pay data, and get news from the street, and so on. Don't be shy about taking a look. Okay. Resources. From Mabao Zhenzhen. I am terrible at oriental pronunciations. Oh, man. Uh, I've been instructed to inform you of the various suppliers present in Heoi. Adi Chang... Hoi, not Heoi. I'm going to do it again. Adi Chang has cultivated a commercial district of well-stocked and trustworthy vendors. Whoever you choose to do business with, you will be in good hands. Ermi Kafai... Ermine Kafai... At Club 88 is excellent resource of acquiring additional weapons, should you require any. If you are in need of magical supplies, go to the Parlor of the Five Phases. If you desire training in the Path of the Adept, seek out Spider Shen. She can help you, as well as supply you with close quarters weapons that you might desire. Chrome Alley can supply you with cybernetic enhancements and medical supplies. The proprietor, 10 Armed Ambrose, is a cyber surgeon with some respite. Laos Techno Palace in Wampapan Run Pun Run Supplier of the local decking community and you need drones reliable Matthews Robot Shop. Best of luck in the shadows as fresh meat, you are likely to need it. Oh, great. Okay, serial killer. <laughs> I'm hungry too. I've got a problem blitz. Hungry for like Captain Crunch. You're gonna help me solve it. From Kindly Chang. I do a lot of business with the Wampons. In if you're not familiar with them, the term forgive. I'll forgive you. You're an outsider after all. Uh, the Wampons, Wampions? I don't know. Are a tribe of techno fetishists and deckers who have taken up residence in the Wampao Garden area of Hong Kong. They make up trade. They make and trade high tech goods to people from all over the world. A lot of new yen passes through their pasty little fingers, and I make a lot of money brokering deals between them and the smugglers here in Hoi. I've hit a snag though. The Wampian elders, their council of leaders, are being eliminated by a serial killer. They've asked me to dispatch someone to get the bottom of it and stop the killings, and they're not taking their goods through my turf until I do. 
So you're gonna be my proxy, dear. I don't care how you do it, but I need those murderers stopped. The Wampians have delegate here in Hoi by the name of Maximin Law. Speak to him if you wish to know more about the Wamp Wampoa. He's got a big mouth and he knows very little of importance. Don't expect him much from that half-empty bottle of vinegar. You get down to Wampau Garden and talk to the elders. Lie, cheat, and steal if you have to, as long as they're convinced that there won't be any more murders. I want my cut back. And I want it soon. Let's take the run. Good. I'll tell the elders you're coming. That was quick. It's like a direct route to her brain or something. They don't like outsiders. And, you, and they might school you. Shoot at you if you don't warn them be arriving. I gotta get got a smudge on my glasses. It's right in that corner. Pending jobs. Back to route. Enter query. Now do I want to do that or should you take the jobs directory? Okay. Check the old messages. Check your inbox for new messages. Two unread. Artifact Liberation. Welcome to the Shadow Splits. I've received a request from an archaeologist named Mr. Drake. He's interested in liberating certain artifacts from beneath a manor house located in Taipau. I've attached a copy of the video message that he sent me. The screen flickers a few times, and the email is replaced with a face of a stern-looking orc. Hello, Madame Sheng. I have heard that you're a woman who knows how to get things done, especially in regards to things that aren't legal in the strictest sense. That's exactly the kind of help that I'm looking for. Recently, a rich investor by the name of Liu Hao decided to expand his manor house on the outskirts of Taipao, and I just bumped my mic. Too much money, not enough space for fancy parties. He had a snag in the local government officials. However, they suspected the land his they suspected the land his estate was built on to have a pre pre modern archaeological artifacts buried beneath it, all of them dating back to the Song Dynasty. Consequently, I was contracted as an archaeologist to oversee the excavations and ensure everything was properly recorded and cataloged. Sure enough, we were only a few days into the excavation when we discovered a series of tombs lying beneath the site. The scope of the tombs was far beyond anything low or I had expected. Several acres of catacombs, wow, at least, and untouched relics throughout. What's more, they're certainly older than the Song Dynasty, and they may even be from the previous cycle of magic. Whoa. Before I can make my report of the Free Enterprise Zone Authorities, however, Liu Kao his allies in Tantain Incorporated. Liu sold the entire site to Tantain, who then leased it back to him, because Tantain is considered to have extraterritoriality in Hong Kong. Local authorities were powerless to stop Liu from looting the tombs. He immediately began building a museum, if you can call it that, on top of the site. He had a gall to call a museum the Emperor's Tomb. Can you believe that? The odds of there being an actual emperor buried there are basically nil, but that he doesn't care. Anything to sell a few tickets. He was con continue his excavations using ten tiny contractors to expand the dig. What he doesn't know is that I bugged his com link before he fired me. Basically, on what I've heard, something strange is going on in the lower levels. Workers have been disappearing, only if to be found dead several days later. Whatever is down there is too dangerous to be left in loose hands. Hmm. We must have found a way to found my data tap line. Data line tap, though. I stopped receiving any information three days ago. Last thing I heard him talking about were a pair of ancient texts that workers had discovered. Then he issued an order to further... ordered that further excavation should be halted until they can secure subterranean areas. I'm betting those texts are the cause of whatever is killing the workers. I have quite a bit of experience with these kinds of dangerous excavations, but an operation of this scale is beyond me. I need a team that's tough enough to get in and survive. Aren't afraid of making a mess? And who can get out with the books, whatever else they can carry? Beyond the two texts, I'm willing to pay very well for whatever other artifacts your team can liberate. The more valuable, the better. Don't worry, they'll be going to actual museums, not to some rich playboy's mansion. I've got a second program in place that'll suppress loose security system. The team. We'll have to be very careful, though. There are only so many alarms that I can suppress. Go beyond that number, and I'll scrub the mission. Whoa. I've included a catalog of likely items to, to help the team appraise the most valuable ones. They don't need to be subtle, in fact. I prefer them make it look like it was a common robbery. Tell them to smash and grab what they can. Let me know when you find a suitable group of shadow runners. Aha. There you have it. Nice, simple robbery. You think we can handle something like that? Basic, dear? 
I have faith in you. Let me know when you're ready to proceed. I'll contact Mr. Drake when you're on your way. Take the run. Excellent. I'll attach directions to this estate in the message. Don't mess it up. And you Kiri. Back to root. Okay. So, open the jobs directory. I should have two. View pending jobs. Back to root. Okay. View... View active jobs. Good. So, let's take the third one. Open your inbox for new messages. Geomagnetic Sabotage from Kindly Chain. Geomancy is a big business in the free enterprise zone. Here in Hong Kong, Feng, 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 ah, Feng Shua, <laughs> shoot, isn't just the act of rearranging your kitchen to make it look, make things look pretty. The fortunes and empires fall within the ebb and flow of Qi, and sometimes that flow needs a helping hand. Wuxing Incorporated, Wuxing Incorporated are the preeminent practitioners practitioners of chi manipulation here in the free zone free enterprise zone they've gotten a great lengths of channel chi from all over hong kong into their headquarters and the enormous monstrosities that they call wu zing sky tower there it is focused and transformed into good fortune through the building geometrically attuned architecture and interior design our clients believe that in time wu zing's good luck may to run out you are to infiltrate the sky tower and disrupt the flow of chi throughout the building but you are to do so in two dis Distinct fashions. First, you must disrupt the Fang Feng Shui. <laughs> I can't believe I'm missing that up again. Of all the offices, by subtly re or altering the environment of that level, this will consist of minor adjustments of desks, spilled water, and other small activities that are unlikely to be noticed. Ordinarily, even subtle disturbances of this nature would be noticed. This is why the client wishes you to make a much louder demonstration on the rooftop garden. The garden is to be ransacked, utterly destroyed. Set, things, set fire to things, uproot trees, that kind of thing. Our client has also specified he would like you to destroy the large Buddhist statue in the garden and smash things to bits to leave them scattered across the rooftop. This level of destruction will keep Wu Zing's geomancers busy long enough that the more subtle disruptions below will take effect. In addition, it will send the kind of message that our client would like Wu Zing to hear. Utmost faith in your ability to cause destruction. Yes, that's one thing I can do can't read, but I can cause destruction. The more disruption you can cause both levels of the Sky Tower, the happier the client will be. And as you're not a spellcaster yourself, it may be wise to bring Gapit along. She will be able to see the most effective ways to stir up the chi of the building. Take the run. Alright, so what sounds interesting? We have zero unread messages. This is actually kind of cool. This one down here, the Shadowland BBS. Um, search for relevant keywords. You can search them. Okay, and Terrace in Hong Kong. Been hearing some buzz about mainlander terrorists that have showed up in Victoria Harbor and that shoot it with the police force the other day. Anyone heard anything on that? Ming Pao said there were four of them that got away. Three orcs and a dwarf. A troll and an elf and a human were all killed in the scene. Word is that there's some kind of terrorist cell and they're here to strike executive council. Huh, looks like there's a 50k new yen reward for any information leading to the capture. The police force seems pretty nervous about letting these jerks Walk freely around the streets. You walk in there to claim your reward. You're getting thrown into a hole with them. The police force doesn't keep promises to sim to the sinless. Eh. I couldn't hurt to try. Why'd you have to be such a downer? Spelling error! Ha! Wait. Why'd you? No, not why'd you. Interesting. I would have put the apostrophe here on the Y. Move the D over and then the space right there. Because I know the police. They're all dirty. They're only in it to protect their paychecks, and they don't care about anyone else. Believe me, I'm just looking out for, my best, for your best interest. Like you and your triad looked out for my brother. You know he's still paying for his reconstructive surgery? If a man wants to keep his teeth, he should pay what he owes, rather than pull a gun on me. Simple as that. So that's kind of cool. You can continuously read things there. Um, post pay data for sale. What is that? I don't know about that. We may check out that later. So let's walk away. Um, jobs directory, old messages, new messages. We don't have any. We shouldn't have any anyway. So we have quests now. I think the uh, the serial killer one sounds cool. How do I get to that one? Uh, this one. Hmm. Okay. I guess we have to walk to the front gate. Or down in here. You should run. We're at 15 minutes in. 
I have no idea if that's actually going to be enough time, but we can try it. Now it's going to say, where do I want to go, I'm guessing. Board the train. We'll see where this takes us. Head, yeah. Okay, yes. Wampian Elders. I think so. Let's do that one. Okay, additional runners available. In addition to your team, your fixer has access to a small network of mercenaries in the Kowloon area. Oh, these runners appear below your core team. Selection, it can be hired on a mission-to-mission basis. As you complete your missions, both team members and the available mercenaries will periodically gain access to new equipment. Okay. Alright. So we have... Oh, there are a lot of people down here. Well, we need... We're going to take uh, Gun Show himself, because we've been invested in him. I also want the Decker, but... Um, let's take Skills. What's... Oh, go away. Skills of the Decker. See, that's interesting. I, I'd like to know like what they could do. But it doesn't, I guess, where's the decking? ESP control 2? There's a different decker down here. We might take them instead. There isn't. Okay, so we'll just take the shaman and the decker. That sounds good. Always kind of nice to have a general idea of what your, your team is doing. And she's got some de decent stuff too. Like a strip armor. That's cool. Let's confirm that. I don't know how this is going to go, but we'll probably get there. Oh, there we go. Outsider. Wapau Garden, a carnival of chrome and neon, rife with every manner of technology and artifice one can imagine. The entire area has a feel of a night market, save the chips are sold in lieu of steamed buns, and vendors hawk the latest drones rather than folk art. Something stalks the streets, hiding just out of sight. It stalks the Wampaw elders, the elders of a band of tech-savvy squatters that have claimed the neighborhood as their own. The streets are smell of ozone and fear, and those Wampians you pass in the MTR station have a haunted furtive look in their eye. I've never seen that word before. Well, this, well, the killer has struck at only the elders this far. It may only be a matter of time before the ordinary residents are menaced as well. Hmm. Okay, so I don't have anything really in my stash. Let's just confirm and go. Oh, are you ready? This could be fun if it lets us go. There we go. The streets of Wapau Garden are slick with rain, glittering under the neon glow of myriad signs and holographic displays. The sky reflects the same glow, painting the white apartment blocks with the sickly orange and sodium streetlights. The smell of grilling meat mingles with others, rare scents, ozone, engine oil, and high-tech fabrication facilities. Despite the hour, there are plenty of people out and about. You can hear calls for street vendors and touts urging people in, into their stores. You know, interesting, ozone. I used to work in a water treatment plant. And we had ozone. Ozone is a really interesting smell if if you can smell it like pure ozone. And actually, if you take, if you like worked hard all day, you were all sweaty and nasty and your t-shirt just absolutely stunk so bad, you could put it on a hanger, hang it up in that room for about 15 minutes and it would be perfectly clean after you were done. The weirdest thing ever. Ozone is very caustic too. Like it, it melts. Um, like we had a, a fish that swam through the ozonator and it swam into our filter and the, the fish came out like halfway there. It was it was so weird. And it lived, we couldn't scoop it out, but it lived for like three hours or something afterwards. So weird, but it was a, a real fish that was from the river got through. Weirdest stuff. Anyway, Isabel wrinkles her nose, sculling darkly. She wraps her arms tightly around her chest, starting staring off into the distance. Is there a word for feeling nostalgic for a place you can't wait to leave again? I don't miss this place, but I miss the feelings I had when I lived here. Not that I know of, because I don't know that word. This place seemed like heaven after the walled city, like the whole world had unfurled in front of me. And everywhere I turned, there was promise of good life. Turned out this place was just as crappy as everywhere else. Everyone was still in it for themselves. Gapa claps a hand on Isabel's shoulder, who flinches away. That's a great life lesson, Is. I'm serious. At the end of the day, life's a raw deal. You got yourself a handful of good friends. That's it, nothing else. Gunjo casts a sidelong glance at Isabel and Gobbit shaking his head. You got some strange ideas about life, sure. There's a meat grinder. But come on, there's gotta be more than life than just surviving. Does there? What makes you the authority on that? I'm done talking about this anyway. We're looking for a Wampian elders. They're gonna be in the Wampio itself. It's a big ship down the street. I've seen pictures, looks like a yacht. Yep, that's the one. Kind of hard to miss. It's been a fixture since last century. These days, it's just a squat. Shops are family affairs, not corporate ones. Is there anything we should know about the Wampians? They're all tech heads, tinkerers, self-taught scientists. Despite the fact 
There's no formal education system. Everyone here is pretty smart. They appreciate kids to skill the workers so they can learn a trade. Apprenticeship kids to traders. Elder Gao taught me decking. And I left after she got brain fried trying to crack a Mit Mitsuhama network. Elder Ip taught me to shoot. He should have been... He should still be here. Come on. Let's go see what they've got to say for themselves. I like it. We're, we're here, we got a new zone. Just dead. He's been all cut up. The elders don't want anyone to go inside without the permission. Used to be pretty bad in there. Oh, oh. It's over here. Can I go this way? Um, it looks like it. I'm guessing there's going to be a side quest. We can learn all we can. Every time a box is up something like that, it makes me want to loot it. Better find some place and stores to sleep beyond. The streets are dangerous tonight. Or lately. Hmm. Okay, let's go down here. Going through the alley. Yeah, there's a lot of people that are going to be talking to us in a little bit. So let's go into the one pile. Okay. Ah. It's like an arcade. It's my kind of place. On, oh man, this is cool. Elder Nog. Hmm. Talk to him. This orc woman. Oh, her. This, ugh. Ugh. This orc woman is festooned with small circuits, the tiny trid screens and speakers. The trid screens display snippets of trid broadcasts from every corner with the world. Tiny speakers play a counterpoint with the susurros of voices speaking different languages. Her expression is haggard. She fidgets with her fingers as you approach. Welcome, welcome to Wampao, my friend. I'm Elder N. And these are Elders Tang and Ip. Aha, uh -huh. gestures to the elf and a human, who each incline their heads respectfully. Thank you so much for answering our request for help. We had nowhere else to turn. Uh, it's the least I could do. Understand Tang's skin, glowing tattoos, ooh, and writhe and change shapes. Tigers become cranes and move on dragons. We're under threat. One by one, we elders are being hunted by some monster. As you may have noticed when you arrived, there's been another killing just tonight. It presses his solid chrome arms. Holographic readouts dance constantly over the surface, displaying diagnostic information about their state. Desk operating temperature, servo pressure, and variety of other miniot miniote. It looks past you. I mean, my reading level is decent, and these words I have not seen. <laughs> Min Ute? Min I don't know. The prodigal daughter returned once more. I don't expect to see you back aboard the Wampao in my lifetime, Isabel. When you disappeared, Elder Yatund was really put out. I'm glad you're still alive. When we chose to walk your or when you chose to walk your own path, I was disappointed. But I still understand why you had to leave. I hope my lessons have helped you prosper. Didn't expect to be back either. Work takes you places, though. She shrugs. Moments later, she places a hand on her pistol, eyes trained on Ip's shoes. I don't cart this around for fun, Ip. The lessons keep me alive. She blinks several times and looks up at him. Her expression clouded. Where's Yatund, anyway? I expected her to be here. She's, he shakes his head slowly. She reaches... She t shakes her head slowly. He shakes her head slowly? No. She reaches out a hand toward Isabel. He shrinks away from it. She's dead. So are Gan and Nakaamra. And Tong was just killed tonight. So much blood. You have to stop this from continuing. That's that's what we're here for. We'll stop the killings. Thank you, Isabel. Lifts a hand, wiping away her tears. She lifts a hand, wiping away her tears. Okay, more talking. It started about two weeks ago. First it was gone. We found him and his partner eviscerated. He swallows, grimacing in painful memory. He'd been torn apart. His head had been ripped away, ripped completely off. Most of his skin flayed away. There was so much blood it took a week to clean out his apartment. Nasty. The rest of him had been the same. Always at night. Always dismembered. Each scene like a nightmare. And every time, nobody has seen anything. It's like a ghost. What happened to Tong? Same thing that happened to the rest of the victims. Evisceration and dismemberment. We sent a guard to keep people out of the shop. But he, he'll let you in. When did he die? Sometime earlier tonight. He locked up his shop, but it stopped by to ask him about some skill chips he had. The door was unlocked, and inside? Lifts hands helplessly. She opens her mouth, but no words come out. Inside looked like a bad horror sim. 
just like the other murders. It had to have happened after sundown because I saw his shop was open when I was on my way to get some noodles after dinner. For dinner. Why didn't you call the police? Hong Kong police force isn't welcome here. They've tried to force us out several times before come hunting for someone in pin a crime on. We do a lot of favors for local gangs and tribes. Handle the matrix security. Fix up their gear and make sure we have access to Hong Kong Shadowlands hub. Too valuable a resource for them to lose, so they protect us when the police force or anyone else decides we're an easy target. They handle the physical security and we make sure to send our message via the matrix. Last time the police force made trouble, we started airing the assistant chief's dirty laundry over the trid. They got the picture and backed off. Oh, nice. Uh, what do the elders do? They make the rules. They kick people out when they don't obey them. They're a bunch of petty tyrants. That's what... Oh, you're being unfair. Laws are for the good of the community. We keep the Wampao and its residents safe. We review trade agreements with the outsiders. See if they're good in the community. We provide a guiding lesson. Kind of like a town council. <laughs> you people are really weird. Our ways may seem strange to you, but they have sustained us for many years. I do not expect you to understand. I'm invoker of sprites. I commune with the spirits of machines, ask them for blessings, and pass those blessings on to the people here. I heal the sick and ensure the feng shui, 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 <laughs> I can't do it, of our habitats is as good as it can be, given our confines. She's a shaman, that's all. She just got some kooky spin on it. She claims her totem is some kind of all-encompassing machine god that lives in circuitry. Ancient gods and ancestors are one thing. My deck? It's mine. I built it. The only spirits it's got in it are the ESPs I loaded it with. Just because you cannot see or touch things does not mean things do not exist. Just because you do not believe in it does not mean it does not protect you from a farm. I can't touch programs either, but at least I can prove they have an effect on the physical world. Your superstitions are just like that, junk. Isabel glances at you, jerking your thumb towards Tang. This guy tells Trace Jones like they're living beings. Is that right? I'm the first and glorious servo. I study patterns, repair machinery, and teach others how to attune themselves to the wonders of automation. The blessed autofab in my shop and purview, where we make the drones we use to sell. As for me, I serve the resplendent voltage spike. Oh, so that's like the leader. It means I shoot people who try to screw with us. It's a fancy term for head of security. Made any enemies lately? Not that I can think of. We keep to ourselves. We buy and sell technology and we're not mercenaries or criminals. We're merchants and deckers. And even if someone was cheated in a deal, this kind of response is unthinkable. Whatever, Whoever did this wasn't human. Violence and savagery. It's a monster. Whatever it is. Plenty of metahumans are monsters too. Just because it's horrible doesn't mean it's supernatural. That's all for now. It might be wise to ask the residents if they've seen or heard anything. After all you've done in Tong's sensory carnival, they may have seen or heard some things we have not. Good to know. Okay, so we go back outside and then we talk. Ooh, maybe there's something else in here. Go back outside and talk to some more people. Man, this game has so much dialogue in it. That's what uh, the Shadowrun, a lot of these newer Shadowrun games for PC, this is what all of them are like. Like, we've had, what, two combat encounters since we started? We can go in here. Tong Sensory Carnival. Aha. Uh -huh. Porter Lime at your service. Elders told me that you'd be coming. Tell me about what happened to Tong. He was killed tonight earlier? Yeah. Killed, ha. Huh? That's rich. Killed is when a BTL sticks... Head sticks a knife in you for your cred sticks, or cops put two in your chest for not kissing up hard enough. This is something else entirely. It's not killed, it's slaughtered like a fattened calf. Watch yourself, it's a mess in there. Alright, close your eyes, kids. We're gonna go into a, a murder zone. The carnival looks like a scene out of a B grade slasher film. The cloying scent of incense hangs thick in the pugent in the air, emanating from a small shrine in the corner of the shop. Unfortunately, it does not cover. It does nothing to cover up the reek of death and clawed up blood. Despite the regular remains of Elder Tang littering the floor, the rest of the shop appears to be in good order. At least at first glance. Nothing is broken, tipped over, or otherwise ransacked. You're about to get you're about to steep step further into the room. You glance at the ceiling and wall. Blood talks bodies and just can find where his remains lie. Drying blood is spread out on the walls and the ceilings as well. Golly. 
That's it's crazy. Tuck's body is rune mess. Destroyed rune of face is barely recognizable. What's left of his body would have been described as savaged. All of his limbs have been torn off, and a pile of flayed skin lies next to the remnants of the elder. The clothing has been reduced to rags and tissue cut and tears, apparently sustained during the flaying. At this point, the only thing holding what's left of his body is the symbionts of human form is the hair-thin fiber optics of his cyberware. She puts his hand over him while speaking in uncharacteristic serious tone. Sweet heaven, Blitz. I haven't seen anything like that since Auntie Wong tried to slash some cred sticks in the devil's rat's nest. It takes a lot to turn my stomach, but we have a winner today. That's seriously messed up. I'll second that. This isn't murder. It's more like, I don't know, a feeding frenzy. If I weren't for the skin, I'd say Tong stepped into a mine or something. Examine the body, use astral presence, have goblin assess... Body. You're the boss, boss. Man, this is going to be unpleasant. Closes her eyes, taking a deep breath, and after a moment she opens them and makes a strange grunting noise. There's no fear here, Blitz. No anger, either. Just kind of satisfied feeling. Tong never saw it coming, and whoever did this was a professional about it, which is pretty odd, because nobody's professional about eviscerating a body as far as I know. You mean it wasn't some kind of animal? I don't know. I don't know who the killer was after Tong. But it definitely wasn't any kind of mindless creature, or even someone particularly passionate. It was someone who planned this, and executed it, and was glad about it. I don't know, it kind of feels like it was just business, as usual. Shoot. Too bad we didn't get any of the other stuff. Let's check out the bloody wall. Walls are covered in splattered and smeared blood, most of which has been hardened into crusty congealed paste. The tracks of it run laterally. It looks like the blood has been deliberately smeared. Huh. Hey, Blitz. I don't know a whole lot about science and all that, but I know the blood looks like when it hits the wall. This isn't natural. Somebody deliberately smeared the blood over these walls. See how it looks like it's got paint trails? That's because someone used Tong's parts like a brush. So they painted his walls with his blood? Why? Do I look like a psychologist to you? Maybe because they're a freak. Maybe because... <laughs> I was going to go into, don't you wish your girlfriend was a freak like me? It's a long time since I heard that song. Maybe they're one of those six area killers that sees murders as an art. Got no clue. All I know is normal blood looks like in a wall, and this isn't it. Some people have a bad grasp on art. I knew this guy in Quantun who used to make music out of stray radio static and panic button calls. Called it Crisis Wave. It was awful. Yeah, it must be like dubstep. Or Skrillex. There we go. Oh, we got a fan. Tell you what, let's get through these. We'll go over a little bit today, and then we can get into something cool. Dog's bathroom is immaculate. Whatever the drains are, tiny. Whatever killed him didn't exit through here. Got some sort of fan going on. Desk drawers are open. The safes that's built into one has been open. There's no sign of tampering. And the green light next to the word unlocked is blinking. Whoever opened the safe did it with a key fob. Inside are several bright cred sticks and no sign of any money on them. Looks like someone looted the stash. The guy... Wouldn't have kept empty cred sticks in his safe. Good point. And over here. Yamaha 95000 V Sim Synth. Sin Sim Synth. A device for mixing and mashing Sim Synth chips. Several drive bays are empty and the objects. And the. Wow, this is a tough one for me. Several drive bays are empty and all of the chip jacks are empty. The screen is flashing a repeated error message. Warning, requested files cannot be found. Please return drives to the bay and again. Have his bill. Deep bug. She rattles out some commands on Simpson's keyboard, stepping away from a few seconds with a look of satisfaction on her face. There, I put in the drive. Warning, on suspend. It's in diagnostic mode only, though. Maybe we'll learn something, maybe not. I bet somebody stole the hard drive out. Memory, drive, okay, errors. Yep, beginning core dump. Please wait. Looks like Tong was cooking some BTLs here. He's hacked the peak controller output cutoffs. The delta levels on the SIM chips are usually 4 to 5, 6.5 for Cal hosts. His delta peaks are pushing 12. That's brain burning territory blitz. All of these drives are burned chips, those. Oh! All of these drives and chips, those BTLs were stored on or missing. I never liked Tong, but this wasn't because he was a bad guy. I just didn't like any of the others. But if he was cooking chips as Delta 12, maybe he burned somebody he shouldn't have. Maybe they flipped their lid and came after him. 
or a relative did. She gives you a seriously look, tipping her head to the synth. The metahuman brain can't handle this output. It's, it'll shut down after a few of these. Hmm. All right. So that's pretty much everything we learned out here. Is there anything else? What do we need to do? What's the next thing to do, outsider? Huh. I don't know. I feel like I got everything in here. Bloody wall, desk safe, search bathroom, sim seventh intern. Looked at the body. That's pretty much everything inside. We talk to Porter again. Need something else? Looks like someone went through Tong Sinks. Has anyone else been there? Not since I've been here. But before it found him. Could have been anyone, really. It put a key into the place. But the locks, total crap. Anyone with half decent cracking mag mag locks? They've gotten inside. What's missing? BTLs, hard drives, crud sticks are all missing. Sounds like the killer looted the place to me. All this talk of monsters. Yeah, sure. But the scary things that go in the bump in the night. Well, most of the scary bumps I hear are from handguns or gangers. What do you do around here, Porter? It's a catch all category, I guess. I work for Elder Ip. It's a bit like being a deputy. I make sure people don't break the rules, protect people who need to be protecting. Mostly, I do whatever it tells me, asks me to do. It's a pretty quiet job most days. Today's not one of those days. I also had a lot of maintenance. I don't actually do the repairs. But I got most of the keys. It makes it easy to ensure that authorized people get into sensitive places. Electricity goes down. I logged. I let the electrician who fixes the wiring. Toilet clogged. I let the drone guy who opens it back up. See you later, brother. All right. So we got to talk to the rest of these dudes. Do we want to continue talking? Man, I think so. We'll talk to Zippy here, see what Zippy's got to say. Orc is busily snacking on a steam bun. As you approach, he wipes off one of his hands and sticks it out to you. Hey, stranger. Nice to meet you. Zippy too, Tang. Toad Tang. At your service. Toad Tag. How are you like in the garden? I'm Blitz. Nice to meet you, Zippy. Nice to meet you too. Listen, I know it's a little bit forward for me just to say hello and whatnot, but I'm interested in giving you a hand if I can. He just gestures to the expansively at the squalled neon lit streets of the garden. This is my home, at least for the time being. I'd like to stop these killings. I've never met anyone before this. Never, We've never met before this, but I know exactly who you are. You're my replacement. Elders gave me the autopsy. Had me autopsy what was left of Elder Gown and Nakamaru after they got ripped apart. But I didn't want to go any deeper. So since I don't know you, I can smell a Shadowrunner a mile away. You've got to be this outsider they keep asking... Or ask to stop the killings, right? Nothing gets by you, does it? See? I have good eyes. A lot of good eyes, actually. If you're in the market for replacements, only slightly used. Ooh, I am. And they only come from certified donors, I swear. Man, I killed myself. Pretty funny. Huh. Stand-up comedian with jokes like that? Are you kidding me? I'm the only one trained surgeons around here. I keep the other... Guy's healthy, and got a practice down the road. Blind Chen's a pretty good cyber doc, but he's basically an impatient specialist, and that's it. How'd you end up here? I did my residency back at the UCAS. Could have become a real MD, too, if things hadn't gone south for unrelated issues. He opens his coat, revealing a cyber deck. He pats it proudly. I also deck a little bit. I'm better at slicing skin than ice. My pal garden seemed a good fit for me. Hmm, so it's peaceful around here then. For the most part, other than these killings, we don't have much by the way of problems. We do information security for the triads, and it makes us fairly impervious to anyone who wants to start trouble. Anyone starts something, we'll hit them in the matrix, while our triad friends hit them in the meat space. Meat space. Meat space in matrix, okay. Some small-time gangs have tried pushing here before, but they backed off when they figured out they weren't picking a fight with the Tang and his guys. But with uh, both the Red Dragon and the Yellow Lotus, they got their message real quick. It was left of them anyway. Hmm, you must have a lot of customers. That's the chip truth. I have to charge to cover my costs and eat, but it pretty much near free service. There's always a waiting list, but it's good, honest work. I like helping my neighbors in the community. We all look out for each other. Somebody messes with one of us, they mess with all of us. That's how community is rare as gold. 
These days, how many places have those ethos like that? Not the cock core, that's for sure. I've lived in a lot of places, done my fair share of shadow running, but this place is special. Been out a long time, so I really felt like anywhere was a real home. Looks past you, toward the village, the streets. Expression goes wistful, like remembering something from a long time ago. I'm sure I'll move again, but not for a while. I'm done with. I'm not done with these cities or these people. Let me ask you about the garden. Sure thing. What do you want to know? What are your thoughts on the murders? Pretty gruesome business. Gang died from a broken neck. Looked like someone had wrenched it around. His arms and legs were cut off. Some skin flayed too. Nakarama had his throat ripped out by some with pretty sharp teeth. At first, I thought it was a devil rat, but the teeth marks were all from something with a humanoid jaw. Didn't look like you tunned. Didn't look at you tunned. From what I saw at a distance, same story. Didn't get much of a point since I'd seen it twice already. It's for Tong. What Porter told me, Gang and Nakarama are, are, are all over again. You take a look at him yet? Yeah, same as it described as the others. I like Tong. The BTL business is unsavory, but the man had to eat. And the regular Sims were great. Generally all around nice guy, friendly with everything, everyone. Never had anyone mad at him. There ain't no justice, let me tell you. Can you tell me about the elders? Alex, eclectic bunch, that's for sure. Where to start? Spiritual leader around here. She's a voice of the Wampons, I guess. And a lot of her close friends are mere followers. Since she's something of a priest for the medicine, machine spirits, maybe it's a cultural thing for people who grew up here. It's never called to me. She makes a fine pot of tea. Ips the Muscle had an encyclopedic knowledge of cyber and bioware. Definitely a good guy to have watching your back. Not too friendly. But you want it, but you know how it is. You get a lot of cyber. People start wondering, tear your arms off. He's got moves straight out of Blood Carnival 3, The Reckoning. Terrible movie, but great fight choreography. Choreography. Don't know much about him. I think he's got some kind of fetish for automation. Found him very, found him cooing over some triads of automated delivery drones in a warehouse once. He works with drones. He has a shop called the Blessed Autofab. He was raving about the efficiency of movement of patterns or something. You already know about Tong. Ran Sims, BTL's skill chips. Ken used to be the city planner before he had a nervous breakdown and got involved in statistical analysis. Nakarama came from Fukuoka. Interested in the entertainment trid mostly. Spent most of the time analyzing subliminal in subliminals and ads. And then there was Magpie. She was the chief decker. Hot against the a ice and built her own hardware. Salty old woman, though. Never met anyone who was quite as shrill or nasty when she was mad. She was mad most of the time. Nobody mentioned Magpie to me. What did she do? She didn't. Maybe a month ago, she just up and disappeared. Went to her shop one day, and she wasn't there. Nobody has seen her since. Kind of a pain, too. She owed me some new analyzed software she'd picked up. Never heard of Magpie either. Maybe she was one of the newer Wamponians. If she was the Decker, she would replace Elder Gao. No surprise there, Gao was older than Shin Shushudagadi's terracotta warriors. When I was learning decking from him, he could barely get out of bed. Still fast in the Matrix, though. Can you be new and an Elder? It's a stupid name. It doesn't actually have much to do with the time spent in the community. Something to do with it for sure. That's mostly about how skilled you are, how good your connections are, and how much you can help everyone else. Should have called them experts or something. Bingo, that's exactly it. She was only here for about three years, but she knew a lot of the people all over the place in the Matrix in Shanghai and Beijing. All kinds of places. Plus, her skill meant she was a shoe in when Gao died. Why would she disappear? No idea. One day was she here, next, poof. At first, I thought she was just on vacation since she had mentioned wanting to go see Kingdom of Hawaii one day, but it didn't feel right. <laughs> Meow. Come here, kitty. She would have at least told me I was leaving. Seems might, mighty suspicious to me. Nobody else seemed to care what happened to her, probably because she was, she made everyone mad at him. Is there any place I would start looking? You might want to check out her shop. Okay, I can check out her shop. One of the others may have a spare key. Couldn't hurt to look around, even though Magpie was always butting heads with the other elders. They wouldn't have any reason to let you in, to not let you in. They were butting heads. Magpie and the others never saw eye to eye. She was contrary for the sake of it. 
Most of the rest had a grand vision for what they wanted in their neighborhood to become. Magpie just wanted a deck. She was an, only an elder because they needed someone with her matrix chops. The last argument was between her, Ning Ip, and Nakarama. It was over something relatively trivial. I think Nakarama wanted to... It's, I know I'm not pronouncing that right. That's fine, though. Wanted to expand the pirate trade business to the Matrix. And she had just absolutely refused. Hmm. She said something about not using up valuable bandwidth for trivial entertainment. Anyway, it went from there into this rant of how she was going to let Tang expand his drone business any further. Because it would get too much Megacorp tension. They accused her of blocking them just because she could. Which probably is true. Lots of screaming. What do you mean, blocking them? Everybody needs their matrix skills for their own business to run properly. There are other deckers. Me, Sei, or Mo, Jinbi. But she had the infrastructure. If their project didn't interest her, she would have given them time of day. She's real hard head when it about having her time wasted. But she figures it's not interested in something. It had no value objectively. Kind of a major blind spot if you ask me. Sounds like she was critical. Could you let me into her shop? No can do, just because I don't want to. And not just because I don't want to, but because I don't have any key. You have to get it from Ip. He's taken over the Matrix infrastructure maintenance since Megpie disappeared. He's not as good as it. She's not as good as at it as she is, or I am. But they're not going to let anyone who isn't an elder take care of that kind of critical stuff. See you later, Zippy. Huh. <sighs> All right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Get the key f to Meg Pie Shop. We got to do that. I'm guessing we got to go back in here, get the key, tell them that we want to get into the shop, and then we go around talking to everyone else. But that's going to do it for this episode. I am shot. Can't read none more. And keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time.